Good morning, I'm Earth Dr. Reese Halter, and you're listening to EarthCast, SOS.com. The bloody war against nature is raging across the Australian continent. The largest land predator, a 55-pound free-ranging dog called a dingo, classified as a subspecies of grey wolf, is in deep trouble. Prime Minister Tony Abbott's government is spending millions of dollars each year to slaughter these exquisite and most important apex predators. Dingoes, you see, keep populations of rabbits, rats, red kangaroos, swamp wallabies, common bushtail possums, wombats, and 164 other species, including feral house cats, in check. Dingoes prevent diseases from becoming epidemics by culling the old, weak, and sick prey. Poisoning the Australian landscape with 1080 to wipe out dingoes is having disastrous consequences for many other life forms, including killing the endangered greater bilbies. Bilbies are the largest of the bandicoots. These nocturnal desert-dwelling marsupials play a crucial ecological role by spreading mycorrhizas, a life-sustaining symbiotic plant root fungus throughout the landscape via spores or fungal seeds in their scat, which inoculates soils and enables a vibrant life force to thrive within the arid desert ecosystem. The Abbott government-sponsored dingo poisoning program is ecocide. My colleagues know that ecosystems unravel when apex predators are deliberately massacred. Special interest groups representing livestock farmers loathe dingoes. Yet, without these essential top predators, diseases amongst vermin erupt into epidemics, and the feral cat population has exploded to over 30 million ravenous animals. At this current senseless annihilation rate, dingoes face extinction on the Australian continent by 2030. Ladies and gentlemen, Dingoes are indeed worthy of our admiration and protection. Hashtag love is the solution. Please donate to bobbrown.org.au because the Bob Brown Foundation is helping to protect the Australian dingoes. Support the okraproject.org because they're making Earthcast SOS possible. I'm Earth Doctor Reese Halter, reminding you to protect our planet.